In this video, I'm gonna tell you what is poison ivy skin rash, how to prevent it, and how to treat it. What's up guys, welcome to ChatterDocs. I'm Dr. Tor, I'm an internal medicine physician, and in this channel, we're gonna discuss all sort of medical subjects in our own way. If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and share our videos with your friends. Again, it's summertime, and everyone's going out to the woods, to the picnic, having fun. What can ruin your day? A poison ivy dermatitis. What is a poison ivy dermatitis? Or before that, what is a dermatitis? Dermatitis basically means inflammation of the skin. Derm means skin and itis means inflammation. When your skin comes in contact with some substance and develops inflammation, we call it contact dermatitis. Poison ivy, poison oak, and poison sumac causes most cases of contact dermatitis. Nature-loving people who go out a lot to the woods or people who does it for a living, like farmers or firefighters, are at higher risk for this disease. Before getting into the treatment part, how can you identify these plants to avoid them? There's an old Chinese saying that says, leave a three, leave them be. Poison ivy and poison oak has three green or green reddish leaflets per leaf with flower and branches on a single stem. Poison sumac has five, seven or more leaflets per leaf that are angling upwards towards the end of the stem. You can also identify them from a green or off-white fruit that they have in autumn. In some cases, you can see black dots on the leaves, which is actually the oil that's causing the dermatitis. When it gets exposed to the air, it makes those black dots. So if you go out and see these plants, do not touch them. I know it might be tempting but please don't. What are the poison ivy dermatitis signs and symptoms? Basically 50% of people who touch these plants will get contact dermatitis. They will have intense itching, skin swelling or blisters, and skin redness. Initial symptoms usually develop within four hours to four days after exposure. Then you will develop fluid-filled blisters in a streak-like pattern. How can we treat poison ivy dermatitis? Poison ivy dermatitis usually resolves on its own within one to three weeks. But what can you do to relieve the symptoms like itching, soreness, and irritation? Number one, skin treatments. In some cases, adding oatmeal to your bath will help relieve the symptoms. Also, with applying cool, wet compress or calamine lotion, you can get rid of the itching. Once your blisters start weeping out fluid, astringent solutions like aluminum acetate or boros solution or dome boro can help relieving the rash. The fuck is dome boro? Number two, do not use antihistamines. So many people may tell you antihistamines can relieve your rash or your itching, but that is just not true. They will just make your symptoms worse. Number three, steroid creams. 1% hydrocortisone cream is an over-the-counter medicine here in the United States that can help relieving your symptoms. If your symptoms are very severe, go to your doctor and they may also start you on steroid pills or injections like hydrocortisone pills or triamcinolone injections and then taper them off to treat your symptoms. Number five, antibiotics. Sometimes from scratching your skin, you may get skin infection, so your doctor may start you on antibiotics. Please remember, do not use over-the-counter antibiotic creams because not only only they can't treat your contact dermatitis symptoms, they themselves are a big cause of contact dermatitis. So remember, antihistamine creams or lotions, anesthetic creams like benzocaine, or antibiotic creams like neomycin or bacitracin can make your rash worse. Now what is actually the best treatment for poison ivy? Prevention my friend. Prevention is always the best treatment. Wear protective clothing when you go to the woods, like long sleeves and pants. Make sure when you go back home, wash your clothes and your hands thoroughly because they can contain the compound that causes the reaction. There's also barrier creams that you can put on your body like bentoquatum or IV block that will protect your skin from exposure to the poison IV. But to be honest, personally, I would rather wear long sleeves and pants rather than rubbing an oily cream all over my body and renewing it every four hours. When you're doing gardening, wear heavy duty gloves. The oil from toxic plants can go through the rubber gloves or latex gloves. If you come in contact with one of these toxic plants, wash the area thoroughly and gently within the next 10 minutes. Also, avoid burning poisonous vegetation. If you do that, it can disperse the plant particles in the smoke and basically give the whole city contact dermatitis. I hope this is helpful to your outdoor adventures in the summer. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends.